I am Jared Marzillo. I'm Jack Balthazar. And I'm Michael DePietro, and we are Team Blizzard. We are competing in the 2021 Georgia TSA State Leadership Conference in the Animatronics Competition. I hope you enjoy our video. In order to create this project, I went through the dimension list and cut out this wood for, for the exact dimensions. And while doing this, we ended up creating the stand for our saber tooth and cave. And the way we created that was some great stuff and some chicken wire. So as you can see the chicken wire. And after that we took some newspaper and some spray paint and we put the newspaper on the great stuff and spray painted it. We put it on a white base and then these light blue lines to give it the icy appearance. Right here were some doors so that we could end up going through the wires and getting wires like this for the saber tooth in and out so that we could access it. Right here is the saber tooth skeleton and he's just walking right now and this is just how we went and did it and so we had 3d printed all of the white and we made it so that, that way it would fit within the skeleton and for this servos as well so for wiring our initial idea was to have three arduinos and uh that didn't go as planned because we actually figured out with four animatronics, uh, with uh, uh, LED lights, and the northern lights, that we actually required five Arduinos. So we have all five Arduinos, and they run on sensors. So the entire thing works with the press of a button. So you press a button, and the LEDs turn on for the northern lights and the moon. But it's actually only, you know, just a skyline. So a uh, light sensor picks that up, and then the music starts playing. And by the music, I mean, you know, the just scene around it and the narrator. So that's all starts. And then there's a sound sensor that actually starts the um, saber tooth to move out and start moving. So he's going to start moving. And then we have a limit switch at the end of the saber tooth's little run. And that starts the dodo bird. So then the dodo bird will start moving. And... After the dodo bird, we actually have a little timer for the mammoths to turn on. So then we have the mammoths, and the mammoths uh, move up and down, and they uh, spray water. And that was that was fun to work with, but uh, you know, we we, we want to win, and that's we, we we have to we have to incorporate all these elements. So we added a water pump, and the water works. Um, and then the LEDs switch, and then the northern lights turn on, and, you know, you can see in these photos that, you know, <laughs> the wiring, it took a lot. It was a bunch of testing and prototypes, so, you know, it took a long time, but it was worth it. The end result is amazing. Welcome to what is now known as the Boreal Forest in northern Canada. We are in the time of the Ice Age. Today we will be exploring some of the wildlife that reigned in this region throughout the Ice Age as well as some incredible phenomenon that was present millions of years ago and is still present today. Ah, here comes our first specimen now. The mighty Smilodon Populator, or more commonly known as the Sabertooth Tiger, has just made his way out of his cave. As you can see, this fierce predator rules over his domain. This majestic beast spans a length of 2.5 meters and weighs an astounding 300 kilograms. Oh my, it seems our tiger's roar has aroused our second creature of interest. Beneath the cave of the mighty saber tooth, the Raphus cuculatus, also known as the dodo bird, squirms in his nest. He will grow to be approximately 1 meter tall and weigh 20 kilograms. Well, it seems as though he was not the only one startled by the roar, because here comes our final creature of interest now. On the other side of the watering hole, we see that two baby Mammuthus primogenius, otherwise known as woolly mammoths, have come up for a snack and drink. These little guys will eventually grow to be an astronomical height of 2.5 to 3.5 meters tall and almost 6 tons in weight. Looks like these little guys are here to play as well as eat. However, these two better get back to the herd soon, because the day seems to be coming to a close. As the moon begins to rise over the forest, we see the aurora borealis, or northern lights, begin to illuminate the night sky. The northern lights show up in the sky as a result of an energy release from when protons and electrons hit particles in the Earth's atmosphere. There is no way to predict when the lights will show up, so this is a real treat. Some of you may have already observed a second rarity up in the sky, that being a blue moon. The blue moon is blue in color as a result of particles of dust or smoke that are slightly larger than 900 nanometers in length acting as a filter. These blue moons are relatively rare, so we are lucky we get to see one. I hope you enjoyed our video. We put everything that we had into this. I really do hope you had as much fun watching this video as we had making it. We had a great time with it. Have a great rest of your day.